Is Lagos Red Line ready for commissioning? Of course, you hear from the governor. He said he's inviting the president to commission the Lagos Red Line. Is it ready? We'll find out in this video. We'll walk through all the projects going on on the Lagos Red Line. Right from the stations, the bridges, all you need to know. Ah, I will, I'll walk you through from Oyinwo down to Agbado to show you the current situation of the Lagos Red Line. I will start with all the overpass bridges constructed for this project, then head to the station. I also show you the pedestrian bridges constructed for the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail. This is all you should expect from this video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. From our counting, there are six overpass bridges on the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail. They are Yaba Overpass Bridge, Oyimbo Overpass Bridge, Ikeja Overpass Bridge, Mushi Overpass Bridge, Plane Crash Overpass Bridge and Agbado Overpass Bridge. Four of these bridges are open for commercial operation, which in the set of this I have shared with you. The Keja Overpass Bridge is open, the Yaba Overpass Bridge is open, the Oyimbo Overpass Bridge is open for commercial operation, also the Agbado Overpass Bridge too. The Mushi Overpass Bridge is still work in progress, just as you can see from the screen. Yeah, that's the level of work so far on the, on the bridge. The most important thing is work is currently going on there. There are workers on site, and they're working hand to deck to ensure this bridge come to light anytime soon. But now the work is still ongoing at the Moshi Overpass Bridge. The Agbado Overpass Bridge is complete. Just beside the Agbado, just some meters away from the Agbado, you will see the plane crash overpass bridge. I don't know if this is what the bridge will actually bear, but this is located at the plane crash. So the bridge is still under construction, just like the Moshi. These are the two bridges which are currently under construction on this line. But hey, like I said before. The workers on site and when you get, when, when you get there you see a level of commitment to see the project come to you know light anytime soon so it's more like the government is giving a hit to hit and they are currently working to ensure this project come to light anytime soon at plane crash these are the two overpass bridge which are still under construction on the line one of the problem the red line have is not just having a track set or the stations but the rail tracks there are many vehicular and pedestrian movement on the rail track which is one of the major problems they have here so having this Overpass bridges and pedestrian bridges up and running every corners of the red line will help reduce or even stop vehicular and pedestrian movements on the rail tracks. The red line will be a very busy metro rail which will be running at least 30 minutes every day. There are need for zero pedestrian movement on the rail track to avoid accidents. This is one of the reasons why the red line is still not up and running because the stations most of them are complete. The train has been here with us for, for months now. So let's head to the stations and see the labor project going on on the stations. There are eight different stations on the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail. The phase one of the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail, which run from Abado down to Oyimbo. So let's start from the Oyimbo. We have Oyimbo, we have Yaba Station, we have Mushi Station, we have Oshudi Station, we have Ikeja Station, we have Agege Station, we have Eju Station, and the last, which is Abado Station. Let's walk around the each station to see the level project on each of them. There are eight stations on the Lagos Red Line, just like I've said before. Number one on our list is Oyimbo. The Oyimbo is at 95% complete stage. As you can see, the station is standing tall and ready. The platform, everything is connected. The station itself, everything is put in order. In fact, it's just good to go. The Oyimbo bus terminal is located somewhere very close to the Oyimbo train station, but they are not connected. That's one thing I actually don't like. Well, hey, we'll come to that later. The next on the list is Yaba, which is at 85% complete stage. The platform has set up, the staircase, everything is still work in progress. Yeah, I don't see this as a hindrance for the Lagos Red Line. I don't think, except you think otherwise. One beautiful thing I like about the station is that the fact that the bus terminal and 
the station is connected with a bridge. You can easily navigate from the station to the terminal. Next on the list is Moshi Station. As you can see, the station is looking already. This is at 95% complete stage. As you can see, this is all you see there. The, the station is ready. The platform is ready. Everything is looking all set up. Number four on the list is Oshodi. Well, this station is actually different from other stations on the, on the line. This station doesn't have an independent building, but rather they are using the iconic Oshodi bus terminal, the Terminal 3, for the operational of the Lagos Red Line bus station right there, which is very sweet. Yeah, I can't wait for this station to actually start operations out. I can tour around and tell you how everything works, but so far so good, the station is the platform is all, all set up, the station are connected, passengers can easily walk in and access the platform. You all need to you know, touch some little things on the platform, which I will talk about as we progress on the video. Number 5 on the list is the iconic Ikeja train station. My god, this is actually the biggest station. On the Lagos Red Line, the first piece of Lagos Red Line. For now, this is the biggest. It's very iconic. Yeah, the platform I set up, the station itself is is complete. Last time I saw a video from the inside, everything is set up. So for, for months now, it's been ready, waiting for the other stations to you know tag along. So this station is complete and ready for commissioning. In my own opinion, yeah, is is ready. Trust me. The next on the list is the Agege train station. Agege now has two stations. One for the NRC and one for the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail. Yeah. This as you can see the station is it's ready. <laughs> yeah, it's ready. The platform is set up, everything is connected, the station itself, everything there is ready. Yeah, just a little minor touch, the painting and all that. The station will pop. Everything is looking set up. Guys, what? Let me let me let me be saying it's ready. What, 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 what are you seeing? What are you seeing? Let me know what you're seeing in the comment section. Do you think it's ready based on what you see so far on the video? But what I saw is that everything is like there's nothing stopping the rail line from running through this place and picking up passengers. Number seven on the list is the Iju station. Just like I get the Ikeja. This station is looking ready. Everything there is set up. The platform is set up. The staircase is connecting the platform to the station. Everything is connected. All the interiors, everything is set up. Just a little painting, which will not take less than two or three days to get ready. Yeah, everything is looking ready. And not stopping the red line passing through this part to pay passengers and commence the operation. During my research for this video, I saw different videos showing the inside that all the facilities, like the payment system, the escalators, the elevators, everything is set up and working. But based on the fact that I have not been there myself, I have not seen it myself, I am not including it in this video. But I take the word that everything is ready from the inside. But from the outside, what do you see? I will leave you to answer that in the comment section. Last on the list is the Abadu train station. Last I visited the Abadu station was late January. This project is still very much at the ground level. I believe this is one of the projects delaying the red line. Yes. If outside the station, I don't see the station being the problem for the Lagos red line. But currently, with the Abadu, yeah, what do you see? I'll leave you to answer that in the comment section. Then let's head up to see the pedestrian bridges. Like I said before, one of the main problems the Lagos Rail Line have currently now is stopping pedestrians, that's people moving on the rail tracks. Which pedestrian bridges is the only solution to stop people from using the rail tracks, from crossing the rail tracks? Lagos State government have built several pedestrian bridges across different parts of the city that this line runs through. Remember, Lagos State government is sharing the same line with Nigerian Rail Authorities. Yeah, at some places why they have their own dedicated lane from Ebutemeta down to Oyimbo. These are the only places I can confirm that they have their dedicated lane for now. But Lagos State government having pedestrian bridges built in different parts of the city is actually a goal for them now. And also the overpass bridges, actually, actually for me, it's not actually enough. There are different places where 
vehicles will be crossing the line. I don't see security measures put in place yet to control vehicles and train movements on that as is like the arena. There are many places at the Kedja, at different places like that, that that need overpass bridge to be able to avoid vehicle crossing the road tracks. But I don't think Overpass Bridge are ah, yet on the list on the Lagos State government at this corridor. It's important, you know, that I'm just an ordinary Nigerian trying to show you the project going on on the Lagos Red Line. If it is truly ready for commission, this is what I saw and this is what you will see if you try to investigate what is going on on the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail. I will leave it to conclude if the Red Line is ready for commissioning based on what I've shown you so far. One of the measures Nigerian government and Lagos State government is putting to stop financial movement on the track is barricading all the road track all the way from Oyimbo down to Agbado. Lagos State government is currently working to barricade the road tracks to stop vehicular movement, which Nigerian government have already barricaded road tracks before now. But Lagos State government are also trying to level up with this. So we hope to see that happening. But right as you can see, right from Agbado down to Ikeja, down to Oyimbo, the Ibute Meta, the road tracks have been barricaded, but some parts are open because the modern Lagos train is not actually running regularly compared to how Lagos Red Line Metro Rail will be running when it starts commercial operation here in Lagos. At least every 30 minutes, the train will be busy. If you go there now, you see traders on the tracks, which I believe when Lagos Red Line Metro Rail starts operation, this is will not be there. So I will leave you to answer. Do you think Lagos Red Line Metro Rail, based on what I've shown you in this video, because this is the current situation of Lagos Red Line, you think it's ready for commissioning? And do you think commercial operation will start on this project anytime soon? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Take come away again. I'm your boy, OZ. Please like, subscribe, it's important. Please. I'm following my showing this on your screen. Take come away again. I remain your boy, OZ.